Good morning. I just got to the gym and it's been a busy morning already online, doing emails, uh, doing laundry, uh, stuff like that. Um, so today is going to be a short one because I need to get in and work out and then I have to work from two to eight today. It's truck day. I like truck day. <laughs> Because all I do is put stuff away, and I like that detail. They they have me putting the makeup away because the makeup is really, uh, I just there's so many there's so much makeup, and uh, and yeah, so I'm like I'll do it. And it's weird because I thought that they would want me to work for Christmas, you know. So the new schedule just came out yesterday, and I wrote them to ask when I work, and I work sad Saturday, I think. And then I don't work until the next Tuesday. And so, but I think people like on Christmas, it's time and a half. So people want the money and they want to work and it's Christmas. So I think that's why. Uh, what else? Um, oh, my GoPro went out uh, when Keith and I went diving. You know, we got that really good shot, Keith did. And, um, but we went below the GoPro without the shell can only go 30 feet. So then it got water in it because I think we were like 60 feet. And so my GoPro was no longer working. And I went on yesterday because, you know, hopefully we're going to get in the water again soon. And um, we're going on the catamaran. I think I told you Keith and Diane, who we met before, um, they've moved on. They have a catamaran and even John is going this time and that's going to be in February so we can scuba there and stuff uh, I think we're going to go to the Bahamas or something you know we're taking that train right to the Bahamas um so uh I got and it's Christmas so there was a sale and so I got I had the GoPro 9 and I got the GoPro mini it's the GoPro 11 mini and it was only 250 it was on sale i think it was 50 dollars off and then i got the shell so that i can go this can actually go 196 feet deep which i won't be going that deep but um so it only cost me well only you know 300 dollars. but that's my christmas gift to myself is a new gopro and yeah, uh, just trying to catch up on things. Um, and uh, interesting enough, so um, I sold the bike. You guys know when I do uh, reviews, I don't get paid for them, but I get the product. So how I make money to do my travels more, and actually this is to pay for, because Charlene's getting fixed on Thursday and bringing her on Thursday. And they are sure that they can fix her, and I know that they can. You know, I've been chasing that uh, light that keeps coming on for over a year, and he even said, I know I can do it, and I know he can. Um, and I'm getting the window fixed, too. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I've been having to use Facebook Marketplace, which I really, uh, you know, I used to be so good, but now people flake on you. And I just had somebody flaked by the... Uh, power pack the all power power pack which I do love but um, I have it right there <laughs> I've been using it but um, you know the van's only so big and I can only use so many and I plan I have the oops that I got from before and I'm going to keep the next dupe because it's two times the power and it has a 30 amp plug-in which I could plug in Charlene with that uh, but a guy flaked on me and this other guy needed it and I said yep I'll sell it to you for 500 you know it's normally it was on sale for 899 because that's with the solar panel and uh it's normally like 1300 or something like that but i'm like yeah i'll just take 500 again i just want the money so i can pay to fix charlene and um this guy said oh i saw you do travels and he actually did extreme travels in antarctica he um motorbike through thailand uh where else do you say vietnam uh, so I'm meeting him and his wife tomorrow and they need it so that they can have it for the back of their truck so they can be off grid. So that is amazing. And then, um, I sold the bike, the, uh, e-bike 
That was a really nice one too. I mean, they're all nice. I only have one butt and I'm traveling, so I can't you know, use them. But that's what I love, that I can sell them cheaper and then it goes to somebody. They always seem to fe fall in the right hands. Uh, it was uh, a wife reached out to me, wife, husband, and they were buying it for their 14 year old son because he's been pedaling, he uses his bike, I think to go back and forth to his friends and to school. And you in Florida, we're in a lot of sand and it's a fat tire bike. And I sold it to them for 600 when it's worth like 1300, I think, 1400, um, for him to use uh, to get back and forth. So, you know, he doesn't have to pedal so hard. Ah, the new generation. Um, we had to pedal uphill. Uh, both ways remember <laughs> uh, so it's just interesting the people that I meet and that brings me full circle back to um, you know I want to do this live and thank goodness because you know I was thinking I can't get internet it took me three hours to upload just the like 12 minute video the other night and I got to stand outside John's and do this but Keith is actually you know here's the thing you're supposed to be all-inclusive that you get all this stuff now we don't have a heated pool the internet does not work they even took it away um, you know, it was like whatever and then guessed and you can't even find it on your phone anymore. And Keith is getting high speed Wi-Fi. So that's supposed to be tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, so he said I can, you know, use that. So that'll be good. Uh, that'll help a lot with uploading and everything and uh, doing a live. Uh, and then I wanted to talk about relationships because so many people somebody said oh you light up when you see Keith you know why uh, you be with Keith Keith's married <laughs> you don't know he just travels he's from Canada and he likes to travel he's retired his wife isn't and you know some people are like oh be with John John has a girlfriend Gail we love Gail and Gail lives in Florida and so you know that's why John stays around here because you know Gail works again John's retired Gail works so it's that dynamic and uh, we were talking about this the other night and um, you know, I think that's my thing. Like people are like, why aren't you in a relationship? Well, right now I don't want to give up that freedom. I want to travel and it's not conducive to, um, you know, having a relationship, especially with somebody who works like a, you know, your normal nine to five job or, you know, your job where you have to stay in the same area and yeah you know, I don't want to it's hard enough a relationship is hard enough even when you're next to each other that imagine traveling um, and I'm not ready to stop traveling actually I want to do more traveling you know I'm just getting more confident and I want to actually ramp it up and travel more um, and you know, somebody said, well, you light up when you're with Keith. And I was telling the guys the other night, last night when we were eating, um, that was amazing, by the way, the, what was it? Jap mm -hmm, Japanese curry, something like that. Chicken, oh, it had carrots, it had potatoes. Oh, it was so good. Um, but, oh, what was I, just squirrel. <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was saying now. Um, but we were talking about traveling and stuff like that. And I am just not uh, willing to, you know, give this lifestyle up. You know, I've been a single mom since my daughter was one. And, um, and honestly, her dad wasn't a lot of help. He was out of town hunting and fishing most weekends, and which was fine. I mean, I loved, I relished my time with my daughter. And, you know, I worked contracts so that... Um, well, first of all, because I was sexually harassed by three different lawyers at three different law firms. But then that turned out to be good because that helped me when you contract, you can kind of call your own shots because they aren't paying for your health care or anything. You're getting paid, paid hourly that, you know, I'd be like, oh, I have to leave at four because Jesse has a, you know, softball game tonight or I have to get her here or, you know, whatever. And then on the weekend, she would have tournaments and stuff like that. So I could work my time around um, all that, you know, taking her to her orthodontist appointments and everything like that. Um, so everything that kind of started out maybe with a negative connotation turned out 
are the best for me. Uh, you know, I mean, it sucked going through that, but in the end, it pushed me to do that. And I think it pushed me to then say, oh, this is how I want to work because I don't want to listen to anybody. I was thinking about that the other day. Um, yeah, I work at Walgreens and I can't imagine going to a corporate job again. And, you know, thinking about just how they, uh, I had micromanagers, which you're always being looked over your shoulder and stuff. If they understood, what I like about Walgreens is that I just go do my work on my own. I know what I have to do and I just do it, you know? Nobody really bothers me and and that's it. And um, I wish that, oh, and then I was watching a TikTok and uh, who was it? This big billionaire guy said that he wants people to go back to the office because then they have to spend money to commute and to pay for, you know, nice clothes to be in the office and to pay for gas and stuff like that. And I never thought of it that way, that, you know, if everybody got to work from home, that they wouldn't have to put more, you know, consumerism, put more money into the economy. And uh, I thought that's, yeah, of course. Um, but, uh, as far as like relationships go and stuff like that. And I get, we were talking, Keith and John said, you know, they just want to see you happy, Tracy. And I get that. And I truly appreciate all of you. They're so, you guys are so nice and you're so nice to Keith and John. And it's so funny when Joy's on, you know, you're also nice to her and you still say hi to Joy because you know she reads the comments. And that's the thing too. It's like, it's not like I don't have commitments. I still from here, I'm taking Kara Joy, you know, I make all of her appointments, you know, I, she needs something, I'm calling on it, uh, and Jenny, who's, you know, her personal care assistant, you know, is like my feet, and she takes Joy to the appointments and stuff like that, and so, um, you know, I still have commitments, and that's why I can't have a pet, is because I don't want to have to take care of anything. <laughs> any more of anything outside of myself than what I have to. Um, and so really, uh, you know, relationships, and I know that in my head. And if you don't know, I'm going to share something very vulnerable. Um, I was physically abused uh, in, in relationships uh, when I was like in my 20s, late 20s, early 30s. Um, you know, I left right away, but that will never happen again. And um, uh, and I left at the first sign, but, um, you know, it still impacts you, impacts how you see relationships. And I have mostly been like emotionally, mentally abused. And these relationships didn't start out like that. They started out loving and, you know, caring. And then it seems like once somebody has you, um, that then they become who they actually are. The facade breaks and um, and then you're already like in it. And I'm sure that's happened to men and women out there. And I don't know, I, and I don't think I'm the only one. I hear from people who feel like, you know, I feel like I, I said before, I have a bad picker, but I don't think that's it. I think that a lot of us, you're duped in the beginning you know, um, narcissistic behavior, that's what they do. They kind of prey on the vulnerable, the ones who, you know, have empathy and stuff like that. And, um, and then before you know it, you know, you're like, oh, if I can love them enough, then they'll change. And I know now, <laughs> I don't have time. I gotta try and love me enough. And I have time to change somebody and love them enough to love themselves when, you know, it's a character trait. It's not something unless they're willing to work on it themselves. It's nothing I can change in anybody. And so, um, and I want to say too, oh, what I was thinking about, I think what I remember is that, so each of these guys, you know, I didn't start out knowing all these people. Um, they all give me something different. And uh, like Al, yeah, I miss Al because Al and I laugh. I haven't belly laughed and Al and I belly laughed every time we were together. I mean, where there's tears in your eyes. And you know, he says, those who laugh the most win. And that's what I miss about Al is that our sense of humor, uh, just, uh, I, I just don't laugh like that with anybody else. And it's just over soup and stuff. And you know, Keith and John, they both have their own different 
things that they bring to the table. So it's like getting everything instead of in one person from different people and why I can be myself is because I'm not worried about like that sexual tension or you know worrying if they're taking like my niceness as flirting with them you know uh, which I have held back before on other things because that's how people take it and then they get mad thinking well you were nice to me it's like well I'm nice to everybody if you're nice to me I'm nice to you so, um, you know, so I know it's not misconstrued and then I can just be myself. Uh, so I've already talked over 15 minutes on this. I got to get into the gym, but I will come back and say goodbye, uh, before I go into work, um, to do truck. So, okay. See you soon. Okay. I'm done with my workout. I've been waiting for this airplane to go over. Can you hear it? And it just keeps going and going and going. So I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll just turn it on. Anyway, I'm at Walgreens now. I'm going to head in a little early. Um, yeah, and I got my Fitbit. I haven't worn my Fitbit in so long or my bracelets. And um, I want to get back to doing that and counting my steps. It's amazing how good you feel when you um, go to the gym and work out and eat better and you know get sleep although I can't help myself I've been waking up and then going on TikTok and somehow spending like two hours on TikTok and in the middle of the night so I wonder why I'm tired um I started taking B12 it's a dropper and you put it under your tongue and you leave it there for like 30 seconds and then you swallow it um but yeah so I don't know I'm just feeling better I'm feeling healthy um, so yeah, so that's a good thing. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Sorry that this is just like sitting and chatting, but Vlogmas, vlogging every day, again, just a normal life, but I live in a van. And I think sometimes I know I used to follow this person and, you know, they would say the same thing. I'm boring, like, you know, they vlogged every day. And, uh, um, but it was just like checking in and it was like having a friend at the end of the evening that you, know, you just talked with. And I talked to Keith and John about, uh, you know, like you, people used to say when Joy and I would sit down and just have coffee and talk, you know, that they just felt like they were sitting at the table with us talking. And I said, we should all have like coffee talk because we talk about, oh, I think interesting things, relationships, stuff like that. And it's nice for me, a woman to get, a man's perspective and I think sometimes it's good for them to get a woman's perspective because um, I don't think we all communicate enough I think a lot of times like I said we feel like if we're together it has to be in some like relationship like a romantic kind of thing and I just think we're all cutting each other off of a lot of happiness by having friends of the opposite sex um, so just my take on it from what I've learned like I said from meeting and traveling and just you know having good friends of the opposite sex with no sex okay I'll leave you with that <laughs> um you know what to do go out make an adventure no matter how big or how small you don't have to sell everything and move into a van I did that uh go call someone you love and as Joy says tell them that you love them and don't you dare forget your magic and always look for the good. Okay. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow with more boring stuff. Okay. I'll see you then.